So we're next going to Trace O'Reilly and Trace is a Reiki and reflexologist therapist and she's based in Tume. And again, I have known Therese for many years. She moved from the States back home to Tume and she joined one of my meditation groups and she became one of my great friends ever since. So Therese is going to tell us a little bit about her chapter and it's called Finding My Feet. So you're welcome, Therese. Hello, welcome to the virtual launch of our book, Awaken Your Wellbeing. Uh, I'd like to also welcome you here to Tume Reflexology and Master Reiki. My name is Therese O'Reilly. I'm located on the outskirts of Tume. I'm 53 years of age. I'm married to Seamus and I have three adult children, Gavin, Derva and Clara. Uh, firstly, I'd like to express my gratitude to all the ladies that have collaborated in this book. Um, there's 14 of us in total. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to Sharon, um, who's put so much hard work into this and also to her family, to John and to Matthew and to Scott who have, who are great support for Sharon, as, as my, my family are a great support to me. Um, the proceeds of our book are going to the Galway Simon community. Now the Galway Simon community is an integral part of our community. It is committed to preventing homelessness, to helping homelessness, to a variety through a variety of different services. They have counselling, they have emergency housing. Um, it's really important that each of you buy this book because all of the proceeds of this book are going to the Galway Simon community. Now, my chapter is called Finding Your Feet. And in my chapter, I talk about my life, good times, bad times. I talk about my postnatal depression after my third child was born. Uh, I talk about times when I had um, a herniated disc and frozen shoulder, tremendous pain. And I do know that physical pain, long-term physical pain can really, really affect your mental health and your emotional health. And anybody that is suffering from long-term physical pain needs to sort that out and get help immediately. Um, I also talk about um, the death of my father. He died suddenly. Um, this, I, I withdrew at that time. It propelled me into a deep, deep depression that I suffered, suffered for approximately three years um, until I eventually helped myself. And as my daughter said to me, Mom, you never told us. We didn't know how far hard you were suffering. So my main message to you, anybody listening or watching and, and hearing my book is, you must help yourself. You must seek help. You must take action. Um, suffering in silence isn't, isn't helping anyone. It's not helping you. You deserve help. You deserve to live your best life. So you must pick up the phone, you must call somebody. There is no need to suffer, you have to take action. Now the hardest part of this book for me wasn't in the writing of the book. It, when I started writing it was easy, I just flowed out and I wrote. The hardest part for me is sharing this book and sharing my story. Uh, the fear of judgment and, and probably the fear of judgment from people I know rather than strangers. But um, that is a fear that I've had to overcome as I've had to overcome many things in my life. Uh, the other thing that I would say to you all is do not take your health for granted. Not your physical health or your mental health or your emotional health. It is so important to take action and to help yourself. Nobody is coming on a white horse to come and save you. You must save yourself. You must get off that couch, turn off that TV, get up and go out and call somebody or tell somebody what is going on. There is a lot of help there and when you do, there will be so many people to help you. You are valued, you are loved, uh, your life is important and you have a light to shine and you need to shine it. Don't let life pass you by and, and just let it pass you by and not shine your light and have, and, um, have regret. It's not worth it. Now, finally, um, I just want to again express my deep, deep gratitude to Sharon, to her family, to the other fabulous ladies in this book that have so courageously shared their story, uh, to my lovely family that have always been there for me, and 
to the full production team, to the publisher, to the production team, and to everybody involved in this. So go buy this book to help Galway Simon community. It'll make a great present. Go do it. Thank you so much for listening.